action on the brink at Yankee Stadium. Game six, Andy Pettit on the hill trying to send the Yanks to the World Series. 38-year-old John Burkett trying to force a game seven. Bottom one, no score. Burkett against Jason Giambi. You know what Yankee fans are thinking right there. I thought so. Just a six RBI as a Yankee over the last two postseasons. To the third inning, we go with a one nothing Yankee lead. Pettit facing Jason Veritek and Veritek. For the love of elevation, you know, three of Veritek's four homers this postseason have come when he was hitting in the nine hole. Tie game at one. Later in the third, bags full for David Ortiz, just slicing it. Todd Walker, no more Garcia Parra scores. It's three to one Boston. Pettit allowed eight hits in five innings. Next batter, Kevin Millar, who came in hitting 200 in this postseason. Hits up to 208. It's a bloop. It works. It brings in Manny Ramirez, and it's a 4-1 Boston Red Sox lead, and the Yankee Stadium crowd is stumped. Bottom four, same score. First and third, one out, Burkett, facing Nick Johnson. Johnson looking to spark the Yanks and does just that. Jorge Posada would score on the ground rule double, which hurt the Yankees, kept the runners on second and third for this. Kareem Garcia grounds out to Noma, but he bobbles it and keeps the inning alive for the Yankees. Bronson Arroyo ready in the pen. Sox stick with Burkett and Alfonso Soriano. Making the Red Sox pay, and especially no more. His error leads to two more Yankee runs. It's now 5-4 Yankees. Burkett, seven hits allowed and three and two-thirds. Five runs allowed, three of them earned. Bottom five, still 5-4, Posada. Opposite way, some say it would be wind-aided. His first homer of the postseason, it is 6-4 to the six. Jose Contreras into pitch facing Trot Nixon. Boy, the Red Sox desperately wanted this guy in the offseason, but the Yankees signed him. Nixon goes down looking, and then Veritek can't hit the splitter. After a walk to Johnny Damon facing Todd Walker, Contreras cruising, strikes out the side. Bottom six, second and third for Jason Giambi. One out facing Alan Embry. No, sir. Two outs. Giambi left five men on. Next batter, Bernie Williams. Good contact, wouldn't you say? Right at Bill Miller. Miller the first to get Bernie. Jason Veritek talks about the big outs. And Embry came in, and, um, you know, we knew we knew they were going to probably double steal, and, um, you know, Embry's not the quickest, and he came in and got, got those outs, and it was huge. I mean, that was a big turning point. Instead of them being up three, they stay at two. So the Red Sox are down by two in the seventh. No more facing Contreras and Garcia Parra, who came in hitting 105 in this series. He had four hits in this game, including that triple. No more would end up scoring on a throwing error by Hideki Matsui, who bounces one right into the stands. Matsui upset over his bad throw, but would say later it had nothing to do with the wind. Sox down one, still in the seventh. Nobody out. Manny on third. David Ortiz off the bag. Manny will score on that. The Red Sox pounded out 16 hits. We're tied up. Two out, second and third. Jason Veritek at bat. The Yankees intentionally walk him one, Joe Torrey. I decided to walk him. It's not an easy decision, obviously. Um, of course, you know, Heredia shouldn't be on the mound for me if I don't, you know, have confidence to do something like that. You know, it's not an easy decision to make, but the way Jason uh, Veritek's been swinging the bat, especially right-handed, uh, it was one I felt I had to do and then just live with the result. So the bags were full for Johnny Damon facing Heredia. And what does Heredia do? Walk him on four pitches. And he walks in the go-ahead run for Boston. Now, bottom eight, Soriano on second, Derek Jeter against Mike Timlin. On the ground, Bill Miller bobbles it, but stays with it to nail Jeter. Gabe White to try Nixon. Nixon just launches one. A little insurance, I'd say. Third home of the postseason for Nixon. The Boston Red Sox have their game seven. Jose Contreras, 0-3 this season against the Red Sox with an ERA of 15. So down. The signing game with two great names on the bump. Pedro Martinez, 1-1 one one in the postseason. Roger Clemens, fourth career start in a deciding series game, but perhaps it doesn't go well the last of his career. Top one, two outs, no score. Clemens gets Manny Ramirez to fly up to Kareem Garcia, and so that was all pretty good. End of the top of the first. Then in the home half, a welcome for Pedro. I believe that's a Bronx cheer, correct? <laughs> Bottom first, no score, one-two pitch. Alfonso Soriano goes down swinging. 
couple four batters later. Two Yankees on. 2-2 two -two pitch. Pedro to Hideki Matsui. And I don't know how they play ball there in the Japanese league, but here in America, it takes four balls to earn a walk. That's just 3-2. You got to go back. Oh, wow. Luis Soho finds that kind of funny. Next pitch. Matsui flies out to Johnny Damon. And we got nothing on the board after one inning. Kevin. In the natural progression of a baseball game, we go to the second inning. No score, 2 0 pitch from Roger Clemens to Trot Nixon, and guess who's clubbing? Trot. A two run shot. All of a sudden, Red Sox up by a deuce. Nixon's fourth home run of the postseason. Watch it again, and Clemens' fastball just tails over the plate. Nixon pounces. Three batters later, Jason Veritek on second. Johnny Damon grounds the third. Enrique Wilson, the easy throw. Oh, no. <laughs> Veritek scores. Error for Wilson. Red Sox up 3 0. And take another look at this. Wilson in the lineup for his bat against Pedro, not his glove. Where's Aaron Boone? Hmm, sitting there foreshadowing, my friends. Yeah, if they play long enough, you might get in. Bottom second. Jason Jaffe dropped to seventh in the order and, well, strikes out against Pedro on high cheese. And if you're wondering if Pete could go inside, he did on Soriano. Of course, maybe he's just setting him up after a little high hello inside. Gets him striking out on the fastball away. So fourth inning, Roger Clemens first pitch to Kevin Millar, and he says, mm, good. A home alone shot, Red Sox up 4-0, and you can sense the party already starting in Beantown. Millar's first homer of the postseason. Two batters later, Bill Miller singles to left. Trot Nixon goes to third on the hit and run, and watch again. Derek Jeter cheating towards second. And Miller's grounder goes right past him. Out comes Joe Torre, Roger Clemens done, three innings, six hits, four runs, maybe the end of his career at that point. So in comes Mike Mussina for the first relief appearance of his career. Next batter, Jason Veritek done. 33 pitches, 25 strikes for Mussina. Then he gets Damon to ground into the 6-3 double play, three scoreless innings from the Moose. Let's go to the bottom of the fifth. New York down 4 0. And Giambi apparently wants to go clubbing with the fellas because he just ruined a shutout. Make it 4 1, his second homer of the clubbing postseason. Clubbing with the boss and Derek. <laughs> three back. Yeah, exactly. Get a tux. Soriano. Oh, look at Uncle Charlie. 0 for 3 now with three strikeouts as the inning ends. Bottom of the seventh. New York down 4 1, 2 2 pitch. And Giambi does it again. A home alone shot, another one. Drop to the seventh slot, and that's two home runs from the seventh spot. Look at how close Johnny Damon comes. Pops would have helped him. Next batter, Enrique Wilson, grounder off first base, and oh, Millar. Or is that the Gremlins? Was that the Bambino <laughs> that tripped him up? Could have just tossed it to Pedro. Nomar tells Pedro, go ahead and handle your business. He does. Pedro gets sorry out of swing, gets a little love for Ramon and reversing the dugout. Top eight, Boston up 4 2. Still, David Wells into pitching his very first pitch by David Ortiz. Yank, get out. Solo homer, Ortiz, second homer of the postseason. 5 2 game. Bottom eight, New York, still 5 2. Boston, five outs from the promised land. Same as the Cubs were in game six, and, well, uh oh, bad things happening. Bernie Williams singles, Jeter scores, Yankees down 5 3. Grady comes out, checks on his man, leaves him in. Pedro, Matsui, that's down the line. Another jerk job. Fan touches it, ground rule double. Yanks on second and third. Timlin and Embry ready in the pen. Just pick up the phone. Please. Pedro stays in. Next batter, 2-2. Jorge Posada. A little flair for the dramatic. It's down. Williams and Matsui score. RBI double, two RBIs. Tied at five. Yankees loving it. Grady Little, now he's got to go get his man. Hook me. So Mike Timlin gets the honors. Two outs. He intentionally walks Ruben Sierra. That'll put two men on. That brings up Kareem Garcia. Not intentionally walked. Free pass nonetheless. The bases are chucked. Next man up, Soriano. 0 for 4 with 4 Ks. Gets his bat on it this time and then some bad luck. Off the mound, Todd Walker handles it. Flips it to Nomar for the force. 5-5 five, five, going to the ninth. Go to the ninth inning and Mariano Rivera in. Todd Walker loops it. Soriano there. Walker one for five in the game. It ends the inning and Rivera digging the scene. Red Sox, uh, not really. Mike Timlin into pitch. Bernie Williams, the grounder, and Todd Walker, a top ten nominee. 
makes a great play from his knees. Timlin unscathed in an inning in a third. All right, nothing in the 10th. We go to the 11th. Rivera in his third inning of work. Gets Nixon looking. Two batters later, Doug Mirabelli swinging done. Rivera ends the inning. He was just stout. Bottom of the 11th. Tied 5-5. Tim Wakefield back into Aaron Boone. First at bat of the game. There's a fly ball deep to left. It's on its way. There it goes. And the Yankees are going to the World Series. Aaron Boone has hit a home run. The Yankees go to the World Series for the 39th time in their remarkable history. A remarkable 6-5 win. Aaron, insert your own expletive here. Boone. Wakefield, the winner in game one and four, gets touched in the 11th. And there is the loss. Again, the dugouts cleared between these two, but one of them went onto the field. You can see Revere emotionally spent. The other team went to the locker room to pack up. Wells, Clemens, they go out. A little smooch for the Bambino. <laughs> hey, the no. fat man came through again for the Yanks. They win the season series 10-9. They win this amazing series 4-3. The fourth extra inning game seven in history and the home team now has won all four of them. Clemens off the hook. Revere, as I said, three innings, 48 pitches, the win and MVP honors. Pedro fails to protect the lead for the second time in the series. Perhaps left on the mound, out of gas by his manager in the eighth. Here now the victors and the vanquish. And Aaron Boone appears to have had time to shave. Still can't even put it into words. I mean, just to have the opportunity to so many people today uh, had a huge hand in this and for us to come back like that and you know to be in that spot and to get the chance and you know it, it's humbling this game humbles you all the time in good ways and bad ways this was a, a total team effort guys running hard playing hard uh, I didn't like the signs that were uh, things were happening when Soriano hit that ball and hit the uh, hit the mound you know and then Walker you know, makes two sensational plays, that one of them, and then one on Bernie. I said, oh, I don't like the way this thing is unraveling here. Uh, but uh, Booney, I mean, he, he struggled since he's been here offensively. Uh, what, a, what a huge, uh, huge base hit, for him, home run for him. There's no reason to blame Grady. Grady doesn't play the game. We did. I did. If anybody wants to look at somebody and point a finger, they can point it at me. Because I, I was the one pitching. I was the one that gave up the lead. And... Uh, you know what, if you want to judge me for that and curse me or do whatever, I'll swallow that because I, I was out there and I'm responsible for the pitches I make and the decisions I take in, in the middle of the game. Pedro didn't give up the last one. Aaron Boone clocks just the fifth series clinching go-homer in history and only the second in extra innings. Third time it's taken place.